Breaking news from the cosmos. Today the world stands still as we bring you a story that will echo through history, a revelation so profound it will alter the course of science, philosophy, and our very sense of identity. Today, August 15, 2025, humanity has made its most profound discovery. This is not just another headline. This is the moment that will be remembered for generations, the day our understanding of the universe changed forever. For millennia, we've asked, are we alone? From the earliest storytellers to the most advanced scientists, this question has haunted our dreams and inspired our greatest quests. Civilizations have looked to the heavens, searching for a sign, a whisper, a clue that we are not the only ones to gaze at the stars. Today, we have an answer. The silence of the cosmos has finally been broken, not by a message, but by the unmistakable evidence of life itself. The James Webb Space Telescope has returned data that will forever change our understanding of our place in the cosmos. The headlines are real, the implications are staggering, we are not alone. This is not speculation or wishful thinking, this is science, confirmed and peer-reviewed, shaking the very foundations of what we thought possible. NASA and the European Space Agency have confirmed a strong, unambiguous chemical signature of life in the atmosphere of an exoplanet, the data is clear, the analysis rigorous. This is the kind of discovery that scientists dream of, and now, it is reality. This is not a hint. This is not a maybe. This is not a statistical anomaly or a misreading of the data. This is the discovery we've all been waiting for. The confirmation that life exists beyond Earth is no longer a matter of faith or fiction. It is fact. The world is united in awe, wonder, and a sense of shared destiny. The world as we knew it yesterday is gone. In a single moment, our perspective has shifted. The boundaries of possibility have expanded, and the universe feels both larger and more intimate than ever before. Today, we awaken in a universe teeming with biological possibility. Every star, every planet, every distant world now holds the promise of life. The cosmos is no longer silent and empty, it is alive with potential. This isn't a signal from an advanced civilization or a mysterious artifact. There are no radio waves, no cryptic messages, just the undeniable breath of a living world. It's the signature of a biosphere, the chemical breath of a living world, captured across 500 light years. The molecules detected are the fingerprints of life, swirling in the alien air, whispering across the void that we are not alone. The planet, Kepler 186f, known for years, but only now truly revealed. Once just a distant point of light, it is now a beacon of hope and curiosity, a new chapter in the story of life. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we've found the unmistakable byproducts of life in its atmosphere. This moment redefines everything. Our technology has reached across the stars and brought us face to face with the unknown. For the first time we look up at the night sky with kinship, not loneliness. The stars are no longer strangers. They are neighbors and perhaps one day friends. We are no longer just searching for life, we have found it. The quest that defined generations has reached its first great milestone and the journey ahead is limitless. And this is only the beginning. The universe has spoken and we are listening. What wonders await us next? Since the dawn of consciousness, humans have looked up and wondered, are we alone in this vast, mysterious universe? This question has echoed through the ages, whispered around ancient campfires, pondered beneath the endless canopy of stars, and debated in the halls of learning. The night sky with its countless points of light has always inspired both awe and curiosity, making us question our place in the cosmos. This question is woven into our mythology, religions and science. From the earliest cave paintings to the intricate carvings of ancient civilizations, humans have tried to make sense of the heavens. Stories of gods, spirits and celestial beings filled the gaps in our understanding, giving rise to legends that still captivate us today. For centuries, it was only philosophy, our tools too weak, the stars too far, the universe seemed unreachable, a distant dream. Philosophers and scholars debated the nature of the cosmos, imagining what might lie beyond our world, but lacking the means to truly explore. Ancient Greeks imagined gods on other worlds, populating the heavens with powerful beings who shaped fate and destiny. Their myths reflected a deep yearning to connect with something greater than themselves, Renaissance thinkers like Giordano Bruno dared to suggest stars were other suns with their own planets. Bruno's bold ideas challenged the accepted wisdom of his time, planting the seeds for a new way of thinking about the universe, one where other worlds, perhaps even other civilizations might exist. 
The idea of a populated universe has always challenged and inspired us. It has fueled our imagination, driven our scientific pursuits, and shaped our sense of wonder. Each generation has looked up and asked the same question hoping for an answer. The 20th century brought us modern astronomy, bigger telescopes, radio astronomy, and probes to neighboring planets. For the first time, we could peer deeper into space searching for signs of life beyond Earth. Our technology advanced rapidly, opening new frontiers and possibilities. We listened for signals with SETI, sent greetings with Voyager, but the universe remained silent. Despite our efforts, no clear message came back, and the silence was both haunting and humbling. The great silence made some wonder if life was a rare accident, but science pressed on, undeterred by the lack of response. The search for life became more determined, more creative, as we refined our methods and expanded our reach. In the 1990s we began discovering exoplanets, first gas giants, then rocky worlds in the habitable zone. Each new discovery brought hope, suggesting that planets like our own might be common throughout the galaxy. The Kepler Space Telescope revealed thousands of potential worlds including Kepler 186f, a planet strikingly similar to Earth. Suddenly the universe seemed teeming with possibilities, each new world a potential home for life. With each discovery, the odds of finding life grew. The data suggested that habitable planets might be everywhere, waiting to be explored and understood. Our sense of cosmic loneliness began to fade. The question shifted from if to when. Scientists and dreamers alike began to anticipate the day when we would finally find evidence of life beyond Earth. And today, that when has arrived. After generations of searching we stand on the threshold of a new era, one where the answer is finally within our grasp. The age-old question is answered. We are not alone. The universe it turns out is richer and more wondrous than we ever imagined, filled with worlds and perhaps even life beyond our wildest dreams. Today's discovery isn't a photo of aliens or a message from space, it's a chemical fingerprint, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope as Kepler 186f transited its star. The starlight, filtered through the planet's atmosphere, revealed a unique spectrum. The data, abundant water vapor, oxygen, methane, and crucially, dimethyl sulfide DMS. On Earth, DMS is produced only by life, mainly marine phytoplankton. No known non-biological process can create this gas in such quantities. This combination of gases is a biosignature, a statistical certainty of life. We have not just found a habitable world, we have found an inhabited one. None of this would be possible without the James Webb Space Telescope, Launched in 2021, JWST is the most powerful space observatory ever built. Its massive gold-coated mirror and position at the L2 point allow it to see the universe in infrared, perfect for studying exoplanet atmospheres. JWST's instruments detect the faintest chemical signatures, revealing secrets hidden in starlight. Its flawless deployment was a triumph of engineering. Today, JWST has delivered on its promise, showing us we are not alone. The discovery used transit spectroscopy, a method that sounds like science fiction. When Kepler 186f passes in front of its star, a tiny fraction of starlight filters through its atmosphere. Each gas absorbs specific wavelengths, creating a spectral fingerprint. JWST's advanced spectrographs split this light into thousands of shades, revealing the atmosphere's composition. Multiple transits were observed, each adding more data and clarity. Scientists compared the absorption lines to known molecules, the result clear, consistent fingerprints of water, oxygen, methane, and DMS, a breathtaking feat of science and technology. Let's break down the gases found on Kepler 186F water vapor, essential for life, confirms a world with oceans, clouds, and rain. Oxygen, highly reactive, must be constantly replenished, on Earth by photosynthesis. Methane, often produced by microbes, shouldn't coexist with oxygen unless both are being made in large amounts. Their simultaneous presence signals a living, dynamic biosphere, the clincher dimethyl sulfide or DMS, a complex molecule produced almost exclusively by marine life. No known geology or chemistry can explain its abundance. This atmospheric mix is a scientific slam dunk. It's not just a possibility, it's near certainty. Kepler 186f is alive. The universe just got a lot more interesting. Scientists are skeptical by nature. Before declaring alien life, every other explanation was tested and ruled out. Could volcanoes or geology create this mix? No, volcanoes don't produce free oxygen, and geological processes can't explain the methane and DMS. 
Could the star's radiation split water into oxygen? Not at these levels, and it doesn't explain the other gases. Exotic models failed to reproduce the observed abundances. The only process known to sustain such chemical disequilibrium is a biosphere. DMS sealed the deal, no non-living pathway fits. Occam's razor applies. The simplest explanation is life. The evidence is overwhelming. With this data, we can begin to imagine Kepler 186f, a world orbiting far beyond our solar system, yet brought to life through science and creativity. The surface stretches beneath a dim red sky, its features sculpted by forces both familiar and alien. Kepler 186f orbits a small cool red dwarf star. It's likely tidally locked, meaning one hemisphere faces perpetual daylight, basking in the star's glow, while the other is shrouded in endless night, frozen and dark. The boundary between these extremes is a place of balance. Here the habitable zone forms a twilight band, a narrow ring circling the planet, where the temperature is just right for liquid water to exist. In this eternal dusk life could thrive, adapting to the gentle reddish light and the unique rhythms of this alien world. High oxygen levels hint at photosynthesis but under a red sun, plants would look nothing like those on Earth. Their leaves might be black, purple or deep red, evolved to capture every bit of the faint crimson light. Forests of strange colors could stretch across the landscape, painting the world in hues we can barely imagine. The presence of DMS, a chemical linked to life, suggests vast, dark oceans. These waters could be teeming with microbial life, forming the foundation of a complex food web. Beneath the waves, alien organisms might drift and swirl, shaping the chemistry of the planet. The air itself would carry a sulfurous tang, a subtle but unmistakable sign of a living sea. Each breath would remind you that this is a world alive, its atmosphere shaped by the invisible work of countless organisms. The ecosystem here is dynamic and interconnected. Producers, alien plants and microbes, capture energy from the red sun, while consumers feed and recycle nutrients locked together in a global cycle that sustains the planet's living systems. There are no signs of technology, no cities or machines, only wild, untouched nature. The landscapes are pristine, shaped solely by natural forces and the slow march of evolution. What we've found is not evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence but something just as profound, a cosmic nature preserve, teeming with life, untouched by industry or civilization. This is a living planet, a world where nature reigns supreme, its environments lush and unspoiled, offering a glimpse of what life can become when left to flourish on its own. It's a new vision of life in the universe, a reminder that the cosmos may be filled with living worlds, each unique, each waiting to be discovered. This discovery changes everything. Humanity is no longer alone, the assumption of our uniqueness is shattered. We now know life is not a miracle but a common outcome of planetary evolution. The universe is bio-friendly, not sterile. Billions of habitable planets now look like promises, not just possibilities. This knowledge should inspire humility and responsibility. We are stewards of Earth, part of a larger galactic story. The search now shifts. What else is out there? How diverse is life in the cosmos? New missions will follow, bigger telescopes and perhaps interstellar probes. We stand at the edge of a new era, with a universe alive with possibility. The journey has just begun.